here with Florida Representative Mike Caruso at the RJC Summit. Thanks so much for joining us. We appreciate it. You know, the Israel-Hamas war has become a global story, but it also filters down to the local and the state levels. And even within Florida's legislature, there was a rift within the, the Jewish members of the legislature that hopefully has been fixed now related to this conflict. Walk us through what happened. Well, what happened, Mike, and, and thanks for inviting me here today on um, such a great event here in, in Las Vegas. Uh, it was, you know, the tragic events that took place on, on December, I mean in October, um, were, just, were just appalling and unforgivable. And I'm an honorary member of the Jewish caucus in, in the state of Florida House. And as an honorary member, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm looking to see how the caucus is going to lead us in this, in this tragedy. And after four days, I just couldn't take it anymore. I, I, they, it was appalling. They, they, they failed to make a statement on, on the, uh, the, the war in Israel and, and the attack. And I just thought, this, is, this isn't right. And I don't know if I want to be a party to that um, caucus that doesn't want to react, uh, react and make a statement. And, and know, know that there are members in the caucus, okay, that didn't want to condemn Hamas. They were, they were calling for a ceasefire. And, and I didn't want to be part of that kind of uh, representation of, uh, you know, of the Jewish community. So I, I sent in my resignation. After four days of nothing, I sent in my resignation. And uh, I thought I would just resign quietly, and it, it just didn't happen. They, they took it public. They took it, made it political. And uh, unfortunately, it blew up. I ended up meeting with the chair of the caucus 10 days after the... Uh, this uh, October 7th um, and um, I met with him we ha we had a great conversation we were able to reconcile um, I, I wanted to put politics aside and I just wanted the caucus to make a statement so he suggested Mike write something and we'll we'll adopt it um, and and he did and he was genuine about it and and then all of a sudden a statement came out they asked if I would sign back on to the caucus I, I did I thought it's, it's more important to, to stand for Israel than to deal with these, you know, pretty personal, petty politics. Um, so I, um, I signed on and, and, and everybody, after I had, had resigned, all the Republicans resigned from the caucus. And when I got back on, everybody got back on and we signed the, uh, the statement and, uh, and moved on. So hopefully we're, we're moving on and, and we're together and, we, you know, I think because we're stronger together. Reconciliation is still possible in politics. Yeah, that's apparently. right. That's right. Tell me about the overall reaction to the state level. I know Governor DeSantis has uh, sent planes over uh, to get the Florida residents out that's of there. Right. He's also talking about sending weaponry. At a broader level, what's been the state's reaction to what's happening over there? Well, I think the the governor has has, has expressed uh, strong leadership in this respect. You know, he's he he's. He, he stands behind Israel. Ever since I've been in the Florida House for six years now, um, the governor stands strong for, for Israel and the Jewish community. Um, you know, we just last Thursday was down in Surfside uh, at the shul and gave a, gave a speech. And, um, you know, and if you see what he's done, he's, he's, he's taken it that he's ordered that we no longer invest in any company that, that uh, you know, stands for Hamas or, or even wavers a little bit. Um, so we've got our, our CFO, Jimmy Petronas, investing money in Israeli bonds. We've got um, the governor prohibiting any, any uh, contracting with companies that are pro-Hamas pro or, or something like that. So, so the governor stood strong. And, yeah, and then getting, uh, you know, sending flights, charter flights to, to Israel to get American Flor Floridian uh, Jews out was, uh, was, was uh, amazing. You've got two uh, pretty uh, high-level Floridians taking the stage here at the RJC Summit today. Governor DeSantis and former President Donald Trump. Who, who does Florida stand behind right now? Well, I, I, you know, if you, you look at the polls, it's one thing. I, I, think, I think Florida loves Ron DeSantis. There are actually people, his numbers would be higher if they didn't love him so much in the state of Florida because uh, they don't want him to leave as their governor. And... and uh, so, but, uh, you know, President Trump's also got a, a good showing there, too. He, he lives in Florida, and uh, he's in my district, actually. Um, he, he's one of my constituents. So I'm honored to represent him. Uh, you know, we have a good relationship. I, I've endorsed uh, Ron DeSantis. 
uh, the governor, and uh, I think he's been strong for Israel, and I think he will continue to be. And I, I truly believe it's genuine in his heart. Thank you so much for taking the time with us today, Representative Mike Caruso from the Florida Legislature. We appreciate your time. Thank you, Mike.